Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. This recipe is for sweet potato pancakes. This has a delicious blend of both the sweet potato and the regular potato in it. And then I top it off with a cranberry apple chutney. So stay with me and I'll show you how to make both of these. I'll start by showing you how to make the chutney because it will have to be cooled down to room temperature before serving. So start by peeling and coring a few apples. Then dice enough of them to make about one cup. So now then I pre-poured most of my ingredients so we can get started. So here are the amounts for cranberry apple chutney. So begin with one 12 ounce package of fresh or frozen cranberries. Pour them into a saucepan and then add one cup of water. Next add half a cup of cider vinegar. Then add three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And half a cup of raisins. Then add the one cup of diced apples. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger. And a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. And finally, a little bit of ground cloves, about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then take a large spoon and stir that together until it's well combined. And turn the heat on high until it starts to come to a boil. Then turn the heat down to medium and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Then remove it from the heat and pour it into a bowl and cover it immediately with plastic wrap. Then set it aside and let it cool down to room temperature. Okay, so let's go on to making the sweet potato pancakes. I'm used to calling this a sweet potato, but it's better known as yam for some people. I use this one. It has the orange color to it and it's a little bit sweeter than the actual sweet potato itself. Then I take and peel a regular potato. I'm just using a normal red potato here. And I use the regular potato in it just to give it a little bit more moisture, but also so that it doesn't burn as easily. Then you'll coarsely grate both the potatoes and a sweet onion. And so here are the recipe amounts. First you'll need two cups of shredded yam. Then I take and place that into a dish that's microwavable. Then mic that on high for about one minute. Because the yam is a hard potato and it takes a little bit longer to cook, this gives it a head start so that when it's in the pancake, it will cook evenly with the other ingredients. Move it from the microwave, place it in a mixing bowl, and we'll start adding all the rest of the ingredients. So add about one cup of shredded potato to the sweet potato. Continue using the coarse side of the grater and grate about a half a cup of sweet onion and add this to the potato mixture in the bowl. Then take one large egg, crack it open, and add that to the mixture. Now I'm just sprinkling it with a little bit of salt and pepper, as well as some parsley flakes. Then take and mix that all in until it's well combined. I'm using basil margarine, and I melt that in the frying pan. And then I spoon little scoops of the batter in. They should be about three inches across and about half inch thick. Now you're temperature should be about medium heat. You have to watch it closely because the sweet potato tends to burn easily. You really have to keep an eye on it and make sure that you have enough margarine in the pan. By medium heat, I turned mine down to about five. Now this will take probably five or six minutes to cook. And once it's browned a little bit, you can flip it over. You can flip it back and forth, but just keep a really close eye on it. You want to make sure that it's uh, on long enough to have cooked through well as well. And once they're nice and golden like this, then you just remove them from the pan. You can stack them and garnish them with some cranberry apple chutney. Then dig in and have one and tantalize your taste buds. This is amazingly good together. You can also serve these pancakes with a little bit of applesauce or sprinkle a little bit of parsley over it. Or you can even just eat it plain or even with maple syrup if you want. So go ahead and make this recipe and I hope you enjoy it.